In this tutorial, I will show you how to georeference this scene using ground control points. To do this, we are going to export ground control points from Google Earth Pro. Once Google Earth Pro is loaded, let's go to where this site is located. In this case, it's in South Peru. I want to make sure I'm set to Universal Transverse Mercator. We could do this by checking on Tools and Options. I am set to UTM. Click Apply, OK. Before I add a place mark, I want to be zoomed in as much as possible. I also have the terrain layer off. While zooming in, press U to keep it flat. This is as close as I could get, so now I'm going to add a place mark. I already have three ground control points for the corners of this site, so I am going to place one more in the corner. I'm going to call this corner four. Okay. Now when we right click, on the properties, we can see the easting and northern coordinates for this corner in particular. In order to record these ground control point coordinates and export them into Reality Capture, I have a notepad open where I have the other three control point coordinates already recorded. So for this one in particular, I put GCP4, comma, without spacing. And then I add the easting coordinate, and I could just copy paste this, comma, and then the northing. comma. And I know the elevation is 1359.5. And I have this file saved as a .csv. Now I can return to Reality Capture. In the Alignment tab, click Ground Control in the Import. And I click this file where I have the four ground control points recorded, and click Open. Some settings we need to check are the file format, which I have as name, comma, x, comma, y, comma, alt, and the chord system, which I know is WGS84 UTM Zone 19S for Southern Peru. I click OK and set to the project. In the 1D window, under control points, GCP 1 through 4 is now listed. To assign which photographs correlate to the ground control point, click Add Control Points, and I'm going to select for GCP 1 and hover over the 3D scene. And I know that this corner over here correlates to GCP1. So I click here and I approve these images. And I'm going to do the same for GCP2, which I know is over here. And GCP3 is on this corner. And finally, GCP4 is on this corner. And then I click Update. 
Now, when we clicked update, it did mess up the rotation of the scene, but we, actually, but we can actually fix this by resetting the ground and then click define ground plane. And now we could rotate the model to our liking. Reality Capture also has a map view. We can view the position of the ground control points by opening up another layer. And I have map selected for this window. And we can see where the cameras are pointed with these green dots, and as well as the ground control points that we placed and the ground control points that helped us geo reference the scene. My map view is currently set to Mapbox Satellite. If this is your first time using Mapbox in Reality Capture, the Map Credentials dialog will appear. An application will ask you for the credentials for your Mapbox account. You will need an access token to enter into the field user credentials. To get access for Mapbox maps, you need to register at mapbox.com first. Once you are successfully registered to Mapbox, go to the main page of your account. You can see a generated default public token. Copy the default public token and enter it into Reality Capture in the user token field and press OK. The satellite image in Reality Capture pretty much matches up with the ground control points in Google Earth Pro. And this was my workflow on how I geo-reference this scene by using ground control points. Thank you.